Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepared. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is a promise. Don't be long now, folks. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, we are underway with this stand-up only fight as we remind you of the rule set here. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. Nice straight right hand. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. on the right hand. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Uh, to stay with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. There he goes. He's hurt again. Oh, wow, massive uppercut. That will not feel good tomorrow. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, bleeding. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Big right hand. Oh, huge left. Nice block. His misses are entertaining. to go. Nice combination. Just misses there with the left. Looks like that body kick got home. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Straight punch is true. So that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. 
Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. No, he is on B Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Great job blocking that shot. Fighter lands a left punch. Nicely done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. That comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish it. You think it right there, but at times you just oh, huge right hand. Told you would keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as it continues to open up, look at that. Comes back up. Oh, nice. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Just misses with the left hook. Less than two minutes now to go. Oh, this could be a factor. That left eye starting to close up. See if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh man, that eye looks so swollen now. You've got to wonder whether or not that might be a fractured orbital. Send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 27 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the problem.